What is going on guys? Grave here. Today I'd like to talk about the companions in the Elder Scrolls Online and how a lot of people in the community have been complaining that they look too similar. This was an issue when Bastion and Miri came out. This is going to be an issue when the two new companions are released. That even though you can change the outfit styles, that everyone running around pretty much has the same companion. Everyone's looks the same, even if there's a different outfit on them. And there's a se there's several different things I think Zoss can do to fix this issue. Before I get into the details, be sure to check out everything down in the description. Of course, if you enjoy the video, I'd appreciate a like. It does help out the channel a lot. And also, if you're not subscribed to the channel, go ahead and hit that sub button. Now, the easiest solution to the problem of everyone's companions looking alike would be adding a helmet or hood or some type of headgear that you could wear on your companion. Then, of course, you know you're going to have the option to have a lot of different outfit styles that are going to look different. Now, of course, you're still going to see some of the same style companions running around. But if you have the option to have, you know, an armor set on with a helmet or a hood, uh, you know, some type of headgear, and, of course, you can dye those different colors. There's a lot of different people out there that have a lot of different things unlocked in game. So most of the time, if you see one of the uh, two older companions or the two newer companions running around in game, they're going to look different than everyone else's. I've also seen people talk about having personalities added to the companions, you know, the personalities, uh, the personalities that you have unlocked uh, for your main character. I'm not sure if that would be enough distinction to kind of, you know, change the way, you know, everyone's companions look because there's probably a couple really popular uh, personalities that people would use on all their companions. Another one that I suggested a while back in a video was probably last year when Miri and Bastion were released was adding polymorphs to Miri, uh, to Miri and Bastion. There's a lot of different polymorph options, but once again, that's still going to be uh, a something that a lot of people are going to have. So a lot of them are going to look the same. I think the easiest solution, like I said, is to add headgear to each uh, of the companions. That way, you know, when you put an outfit style on them, you change the dyes that they're going to start looking different than everyone else's companions you see running around or add a add us the option to actually unlock personalities, polymorphs, different gear for Miri and Bastion uh, for the two new companions during the kind of rank up cycle or uh, some type of antiquities, uh, you know, things we could dig up or whatever the case may be. I think the easiest way would probably be having it in, you know, the cycle where you're ranking the characters up. Now, of course, we've all ranked up Miri and Bastion, so that would be kind of hard to add in now. But if there was some type of system as you rank them up, as you level them up, as you gained rapport, you unlocked different things for them, different outfit styles, different headgear, different personalities, polymorphs, whatever the case may be. There's a lot of things Zoss could do to make all of us feel like we have a unique companion. And I think that's the big complaint from the community right now is none of the companions feel unique because once again, like I said, you could have a different outfit style on Miri, but you're running around, you see someone else with Miri. And they look the exact same without having to have that headgear option available to us. So Zoss could do a lot of different things uh, to fix this. A lot of different things, like I said, to make them feel more unique, but still have their own individual personality that they want them to have in game. You know, they talked about that before. They want these to have their own personalities. I think that would be the easiest solution. There's probably a lot of other ideas out there. So leave me a comment with your thoughts. If you'd like to see just the helmet uh, option added in. Would you like to see the option to have, you know, our personalities we have on our characters or polymorphs added in? Would you like to see the companions have their own uh, customization system, which I think would be really nice if we had our own customization options for the companions. That would be a lot to add in, especially, like I said, since we've had Miri and Bastion for about a year now. But overall, I think there's a lot of things that could be done. So leave me a comment with your thoughts. And of course, if you liked it, hit the like. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. And I'll catch you next time. Peace.